In this video, we're going to show you how to get ready to use Final Cut with an external hard drive. Now, I've got an external hard drive that I'm going to plug into the computer. And we should see it pop up here in just a second. What may also happen, depending on where you bought the drive or how you had it configured, it may ask you on a Macintosh if you want to use it for uh, a backup with Time Machine. In this particular case, we're going to use it for Final Cut, so no, we do not want to use it with Time Machine. So we'll click on this button that says Don't Use. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to format it in a way that Final Cut will be able to work with it. So we need to go to a utility to format this. Now there's two ways to get there. If I open and double-click my Macintosh hard drive, I'd go to my Applications folder. So we're here. And then in the Utilities for folder, we'll double-click on that and find the Disk Utility Program. Okay. Another way to get there is to go up and click on the magnifying glass for the search. And this, just start typing Disk, and you should see Disk Utility pop up as one of the applications or the top hit. And I'll just hit Enter to start that program. The next thing I need to do is, is actually go in and format the drive. So I'll click on this area where it says My Passport, which is the name of my external drive and I'll click on the Erase tab, and I'll notice that the format right now reads Windows NT File System, or NTFS. I want to click on this and choose Mac OS Extended Journal. And I can change the name if I want to, or I can keep it just the way it is. And I'll finally click on the Erase button, and click again on Erase just to make sure. And it will go and it'll take the disk out, it'll put some temporary files on, it'll erase the volume, and after a few seconds, it should come back and say basically the same thing as when we inserted it. Do you want to use this drive as a time machine backup? And again, we don't want to do that. So we'll click Don't Use. And now our drive is formatted and ready to be used with Final Cut. So in another video, we will show you how to use your newly formatted external hard drive in Final Cut Pro 10.